look up in the sky Who's way up flying high? Agent Fishtronaut will solve a case today Agent Fishtronaut, come along and save the day Marina and Zeke will help us find the way With all our friends, you can solve a mystery today There is a pop that holds our clues Come along, let's open it We gotta clap, we gotta stop Come along, let's open it have a monkey for a pet, Zeke. They don't? They don't. Same goes for squid, fish or not. Oh, I think squids are so much fun. Well, they are. But the Pebble family will just have to do without a pet for now. And now they're going oh. to bed. Yes! All right. Mom and Dad will go to their room. Yippee! A pop has arrived! A pop? Wow! Gee, I want to play too! Yes! Let's open the pop together then! Once again, let's repeat the pop's rhythm. Yay! We did it! A dollhouse in a mini cage. It's not a mini cage, Zeke. It's a pet carrier. But what does a pet carrier have to do with a dollhouse? Ahem. I know. Can I tell you? Go, Go ahead, ahead, Zeke. Someone came to the forest, locked the animals in a box like this one, and took them home. Gee, he might be right this time. Yes, it does make sense. But we still have to find out which animals they took and how we can save them. Well, I saw on TV that some animals are being trapped and sold as pets, and the most popular ones are parrots. They can't do that. Wild animals are meant to stay in the wild. So let's go to the parrot's cave. Our mission starts now. Hey, parrots! Maybe they really were trapped. All of them. Take it easy, Julia. They might have gone out looking for food. Oh. Oh. Where? Oh. Where? Uh oh. You didn't just see me, okay? Wait, where are the other parrots? Right here, hidden in the caves, of course. Oh, you didn't just hear that from me, all right? But who are you afraid of? We're not dangerous. We are hiding from some strange animals that were prowling around. At least we were hiding. Yeah, but then someone revealed our hiding spot. What was I supposed to do? I'm hungry. Animals? What animals are you talking about? There were two of the ones we'd never seen before. Furry with tails. Pointy ears, long noses. Very sharp teeth, and they made a noise like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wolves are dangerous. Don't we have to capture them and lock them up? I don't know. It's not common to see wolves at the park. What if someone brought them here? And, and how would they do that? Using one of those little cages? Well, well done, Zeke! You figured out one of the clues. The cage means some animals were brought into the park, not stolen like we thought before. And these animals seem to be wolves. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Now we have to find these wolves. And that's another task for... Sniff Sniff, my powerful invention that can sniff out anything. 
You just have to choose the right animal and... Hey, can you sniff out some food for us, too? Sorry, but it only sniffs out animals. find out. Want to see? Okay. <laughs> see? Nobody answers. They're gone. Good idea, Zeke. <laughs> Let's howl really loud to see if the wolves answer. <laughs> it's them, the wolves. But why didn't my sniff sniff find them? What if they're not wolves? What if they're animals from another planet that Sniff Sniff don't know? <laughs> hmm, animals that Sniff Sniff doesn't know. That's it, Zeke! Dogs! Sniff Sniff can only sniff out animals that live in the wild. That's why Sniff Sniff didn't work. You've solved the mystery. Someone brought the dogs from home to the park in a cage. And now they're homeless. We figured out the clues. I think I am getting good at this. But if Sniff Sniff can't help us, what are we gonna do? Hey, why don't we keep on howling? Yes, then we follow the dog's howl. Oh, right, let's go. The monkey. Hey, what's wrong with that? Oh, such beautiful puppies! Yay, children! Hi there, we're homeless. Please help us. Hello, puppies. I'm Marina. Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Fishtronaut. And I'm <laughs> just a monkey. His name is Zeke. Yeah. <laughs> How did you end up here? We were adopted, but then our owners got mad at us. Just because I tinkled inside the house. And I ate the newspaper. And they didn't want us anymore. Yeah, and they left us here in the park. Hmm, that's not right at all. Of course it isn't. Let's take them to Grandpa's care center right now. <laughs> my, my, those puppies look mighty hungry. That's strange. Why can't dogs live by themselves in the forest? Yeah, take the wolves, for instance. They're just like dogs, but they don't need our help. Good question. See, although dogs are related to wolves and foxes, they were domesticated thousands of years ago. And today, they depend on human beings for food, shelter, and loving care. What are we going to do with these ones, then? Well, to tell the truth... I... I... I think I can keep them. 
Why, that's great, Julia. <laughs> but before making a decision, think about how much these puppies are going to depend on you. It's a huge responsibility, not just fun. I understand. And I promise to take care of them. What about your parents? Will they let you have pets? Well, that I don't know. I better call them right now and ask. Bye, guys. I'm gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you, too. Yeah, but we'll see you again on your next vacation. It was the best vacation I've ever had. I helped figure out the pup's mystery. <laughs> and I also got two cute puppies. Look, a pup has arrived. All right, let's open the pup together. Wait for us! <laughs> Once again! Hooray! We did it! Oh, I want to play too! I'm winning! Whoa! Yay! Oh, <laughs> oh, the tickles! <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> oh. <laughs>